Hi Ray, here's the uh, Pratt & Whitney uh, Master Speed Ranger motor and um, drive. Uh, in the other pictures I'd had it flipped the other way because that's the way the cast legs were and of course that's upside down from the way it is on the bench. I've rigged it up on a little stand the correct way. I uh, used a little motorcycle mirror to hold up the cord for some support. I'm running it through a Nico um, uh, variable frequency drive. I have it set on 60 hertz so you'll be able to see the speed and I won't use the frequency drive to change the speed. Um, I have this this is the speed control handle here runs through the cable around to the back and controls the mechanism. When you change the speed control you'll see that the, there's an a readout here gives you an idea of the uh, speed change, an analog. You also have two here on the table surface. When you're in, it's a two speed motor, so you've got high and low speed ranges. And I've put a little piece of tape on the output so that we can see it spin a little better. And I've got my lovely assistant helping me. Get focused. Okay. You see the shaft is spinning. We're still at 60 hertz. Bring the speed up. You see the speed change is significant. Still at 60 hertz. And it runs all the way down to the low end. You can clearly see it's probably two or three rotations a second. Um, so when it's wired in normally it would have two speed ranges so that would be able to drop right down to oh, 250 RPMs or less. And go up to the upper end, see it changes speeds again, still at 60 hertz. If you wanted to use a VFD, you can see you can control it with the frequency. But the mechanical system works beautifully. It's nice and quiet. All I did to it was clean it up a little, put some oil in there, but I think you intend to disassemble it and give it a good flush, it probably would be even quieter. There you go, I hope that's helpful.